We're now joined by Soccer Central's Craig Forrest. And Craig, our first full day of action at the World Cup saw two powerhouses, Spain and Portugal, meeting. And wouldn't you know, Cristiano Ronaldo once again leading Portugal with a hat trick in a 3 3 draw. He becomes the oldest player to record a World Cup hat trick. And I feel like when we talk about this player, we're running out of superlatives to describe him. You know, he's been amazing. They won the Euro last time in 2016, and they needed some luck to do so. And I think they needed a little bit of luck against the Spanish side as well. He lifted them up with the boots. Straps. He was amazing. Uh, yeah, the penalty was dubious. Certainly the second goal that he scored and De Gea, the goalkeeper, should have saved. But the tying goal when they were 3-2 down against the Spanish, the set piece, was as good as you'll ever see. That was his 51st hat-trick at uh, club and country level, which is incredible. It just so happens to be the 51st hat-trick we've ever seen at the World Cup. He's a special player. We should just enjoy watching him because he's one of the very best we've ever seen play the game, period. So Spain entered the tournament with the longest unbeaten run of any of the World Cup teams, mm -hmm. a run of 20 straight matches. Now we can say that that run sits at 21 following their 3-3 draw against Portugal. But the day before the tournament begins, Spain fires their head coach. So what does that say about the squad and their ability to put all that distraction behind them? Well, it's a good question. I mean, Lopetegui, their coach, was fired, and it was never a good time. But this team is well-rehearsed. They're well-coached. They knew what they are doing right through qualifying. And they know what they're doing on the field. They're deep in depth. And I think that besides all of that they'll want to go out and do a really good job and for the most part against Portugal I thought they did however they got to sort themselves out a little bit defensively they're woeful in that area and if you're going to go long in a tournament like the World Cup you have to be able to defend uh, so that moving forward has to be better but what a game and for the neutral perfect so exciting meanwhile a big story going into Egypt's first match was the health of their star Mo Salah who ended up watching from the sidelines in their 1-0 loss to Uruguay uh, following this game this is what his manager Hector Cooper had to say say quote perhaps if Mo had been on the pitch today the outcome would have been different but we can't know that at the end of the training session we examined him and there was some doubt if he fell or was hit by another player and we wanted to avoid a risk today we want to have him in top form for Russia and Saudi Arabia Craig, what's your take on the whole injury? Well, it was disappointing that he wasn't fit, although when you saw the Champions League game uh, in the final between Real Madrid and Liverpool, when he hurt his shoulder where the channels were Ramos, he didn't think he was going to be able to play at all or potentially miss the World Cup. So disappointing he missed the first one, but the coach is right, the medical staff's right, by saving him, thinking, listen, we don't want to lose him for the tournament. They could have lost the game anyway. Now they still have him. They're still in the tournament. It was a disappointing, and obviously the late goal was crushing and heartbreaking for Egypt, but... I think we're going to see the best of Mo Salah in the next matches, and they still have every chance of qualifying out of the group. Speaking of heartbreaking, how about this? A crazy finish, an own goal in the 95th uh, minute, giving Iran the unexpected victory over Morocco. Yeah, and good for Iran. I mean, it was, a, it was a tight game. I don't think either side really deserved to win the actual match, but they ended up winning it Iran, not even get a shot, or not even an effort in the second half, and still scored a goal. And that's the first time we've seen that happen since 1966. So a little bit fortunate to get the three points, but just well the same. Carlos Claros, the manager, did a really good job. They did well through qualifying, and they'll be delighted with the three points. Craig Forrest, everyone, a wild first full day of action sees a Portugal-Spain draw and victories by Iran and Uruguay.